Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu instructed Israel's ambassador to the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, on Friday to submit a formal letter to the organization's Director General announcing Israel's departure from the UN body. The letter will be submitted by Ambassador Carmel Sharma Hakohen in the coming days, certainly before the end of the year, said Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson Emmanuel Nashan. Be the first to know, join our Facebook page. Function, D, S, I, D, VAR J, S, F, J, S equal D get elements tag name, S, 0, if, D get element beard, I, D, return, J, S equal D creatilement, S, J, S dot I, D equal I, D, J, S, S, R, C equal slash slash connect Facebook dot net slash n underscore us slash all J, S number X, F, B, M, L equal one and app ID equal one six three four one four eight zero six eight nine seven F, J, S parent node insert before J, S, F, J, S document script Facebook J, S, S, D, K the UNESCO constitution holds that a country's withdrawal from the organization takes effect on December 31st of the year following that during which the notice was given. Accordingly, Israel's departure will become effective on December 31st, 2018. Israel signaled its intention to leave the body in October, hours after the U.S. announced its withdrawal. Netanyahu praised the American declaration, calling it a brave and moral decision because UNESCO has become the theater of the absurd and because instead of preserving history, it distorts it the U.S. listed concerns with mounting arrears at UNESCO, the need for fundamental reform in the organization, and continuing anti-Israel bias at UNESCO, as reasons for its departure. Then Director General of UNESCO Irina Bokova expressed profound regret at the decision. Bokova was succeeded last month by Audrey Azoulay. France's former culture minister, who became the first Jewish head of the agency Israel's decision to formally withdraw comes in the immediate aftermath of Thursday's UN General Assembly vote condemning U.S. President Donald Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital, but also following a string of anti-Israel resolutions adopted by the body. In the past two years, three UNESCO resolutions disavowing Israeli sovereignty in Jerusalem have been adopted. In July, UNESCO recognized the old city of Hebron and the Cave of the Patriarchs as endangered Palestinian World Heritage Sites that's worse than fake news, that's fake history, Netanyahu stated during his United Nations General Assembly address in September, referring to the Hebron Resolution. UNESCO declares the Cave of the Patriarchs as Palestinian, angering Israel, Reuters, according to Channel 10. Sharma Hakohen is set to meet Azoulay in the coming days and suggest that Israel could still remain within UNESCO, should the organization change its perceived anti-Israel behavior prior to the country's withdrawal becoming effective next year in 2011, UNESCO became the first United Nations body to recognize the state of Palestine as a full member state. In response, Israel and the U.S. froze their annual funding of the body and, in 2014, both countries lost their voting rights. Share on Facebook Share on Twitter Tags, Foreign Ministry United Nations UNESCO United Nations General Assembly